Hello, can anyone hear me out there? This is Jane. Hi, Jane, I can hear you. Hey, Roman. <laughs> Betty, can you hear me? Yes. Great. Dieter, can you hear me? Yes, I can. What about Dieter, Franz? Can you hear me? Okay, Gloria? I can. Nancy? Yes. Great. Oh, Larry Peterson's coming. Great. Let me... Um, let's get Larry off here. Hey, Larry. Hello. How are you? I'm so glad you're on. <laughs> Thought I'd take a minute to check it out. Yeah, well, it was a last it was a last minute thing. Yeah, you know, it was interesting. Well, uh, when I okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start at about 9:35 because I know a lot of people are probably having a little not trouble, but they're having to, you know, do some things. So, I'm going to mute everyone, which means you can do and say whatever you'd like. And then uh, we have actually about 24 people that signed up, which is pretty amazing. Um given the fact that uh, we just mentioned it yesterday, so that's pretty good. Uh, now, I know there'll be drop-off. It's not like everyone's going to be there, but uh, what I wanted to at least give people a couple of minutes, so um, I'm going to mute and I'll be back. Now, Dieter, can you hear me yet? His volume must be down. I don't know. Can, do you, does anyone know? Can, can you guys see these chat messages? When I type, can you see this? Are you guys yep. seeing that at all? There yes, little, I'm seeing it. There should be a little box that says chat. How are you seeing it, Nancy? Did you have to open it up? Yes, I had to open it up. Um, there's two people at the top, um, and it's um, you just click on it. It's it's a chat view, guys. So, Larry, you have a question? What's up? I'm good. Oh, you have a little question mark next to you. Okay. So and I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, oh, you might have put a question. Yep. Oh, you put yep in there. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll be back.
Okay, everyone, this is Jane, and um, thank you for joining us. I think there's going to be more people. We've got, uh, eight, we've got eight attendees, and uh, there's two of us that are actually going to be presenting today. So let's just talk through this a little bit. Yes, you can't see us. We, we, we opted not. At the moment, all attendees are muted. So don't be concerned if you're talking and no one's answering you because we've muted everybody. Um, and that actually makes something like this go a little bit better because you don't have a lot of interruptions, you don't have a lot of background noise. Uh, can I just, I need everybody, Joe, I want to make sure everyone can hear me and knows how to use some of the controls on this webinar. So we're going to do a little bit of, um, what do I want to call it? I don't want to call it housekeeping, but I know that there's probably, oh, I actually have a poll. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to put out a little poll, and this poll is going to ask a question. And just to get a sense of how many of you have actually been on um, a webinar before. So I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. And if you guys can just answer the question, it should be pretty straightforward. This will help me make sure that everyone is able to um, is able to see it. So let me go ahead and hold on a minute. I'm sorry, I'm messing up. See, I'm already messing up. So there you go. So you should see in front of you a question, and you just click one or the other. So not everybody has answered. I also know when everyone has answered, and we, not everyone has answered yet. So we've got about 75% of the people. Ah, we've got more. We've got another person. Let's go. We've got one more person that needs to tell me that they're interacting with the screen. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm going to put it up there. Let's see where it went. So there you go. So we actually have, of the people who are on the call right now, we have a pretty good amount that is actually... Uh, watched a webinar before. That's good. So I'm going to then hide this for now. And the uh, there is another thing that's really important, and it's a, it's a little hand. So when you have a question, you should see a little hand somewhere on your screen that you can click. So can I see everybody click that hand right now to make sure you guys understand how to do that? Cheryl, you haven't clicked it. Dieter, you haven't clicked it. Nancy, I mean, excuse me, Shirley, Larry. Sure, there we go, there we go. Shirley, it shows that you are not on the screen, which might be why you can't see it, unless you're not talking to me. Let me see if Shirley's there, sorry. Shirley, can you talk to me? Can you hear me? Okay, that's okay. All right, so everyone knows how to do that. I'm going to clear that. But if you have a question, um, we're going to answer those at specific times. So um, you won't be able to ask questions all the time because I have a young mute. So I just want to let you know that. So what I'm going to do now is uh, clear out those hands. And now we're going to actually get into the presentation. Um, so what I wanted to do is introduce um, Roman Trebon. And Roman, are you there? Can you hear me? I can't hear him. I wonder if he's uh, muted. He is. I got to unmute him. Hey, Roman, are you there? I am here. Can you hear me now? Yes. And I'm sure everyone can hear. I hope everyone can hear with no problem. Great. So, Roman is a wonderful volunteer with Blue Hair Technology Group. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were doing a class on um, how you can lower your cable bill and still watch TV and movies and do a whole lot of cool things. And the question came up around, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about Amazon Prime, and, and most of that group didn't know about Amazon Prime, or if they did, they really didn't understand all the benefits. So we said, okay, we're going to do a class on this so that folks understand uh, why, at least they understand the benefits of Amazon Prime, 
and then can decide whether or not they want to be a member of it. Uh, there's a lot of benefits and I know a lot of people just think there's a cost. Well, there's a huge amount of benefits and that's what we wanted to cover today. And uh, Roman volunteered to do that, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to let him go through this uh, webinar. At the end of the webinar, number one, you will receive a copy of this PDF. Uh, so everybody who registered will receive a copy. And um, we also just have a couple questions at the end, uh, just three, that we would like to uh, have you answer, just to find out about the quality of the webinar. Did you learn something? Would you recommend it? You know, those typical things. So um, thank you for being here. Uh, this is a, sort of a trial or a test for us. I, I have, a, a, Roman, hold, hold on a real quick question. I do have another uh, poll I wanted to ask. So let's see, uh, let's do this real quick. Uh, Roman, this is going to be, do you have an Amazon account? So this should be interesting to see how many people have an Amazon account. Will you please answer the questions? I'm not asking you if you have an Amazon Prime account, whether or not you have an Amazon account. And again, only 78% of the people are voting. I, I'm concerned that people don't know how to uh, do this. Um, you should see a poll in front of you. If you don't, you're not seeing the screen. Um, again, my apologies. I just don't know who's not seeing this stuff. But here you go. Um, I'll close it. So we've got a lot of people that have Amazon's accounts. That's good. Second question. So I'm going to do another one. Last one. <laughs> uh, let me see how to get to the next one. Sharing poll results. Okay. Hi. Oh, here we go. And the last question is this. And, you know, uh, for those of you who already have an Amazon Prime account, just select the thing that you think is most interesting to you. But what's the reason you got on here today, other than you just want to learn about it? What's most important to you? 22 people voted. I mean, 22 percent voted. Let's see what you, what's the most important things to people? It should be interesting to see. Sixty-seven percent. Okay. Well, I'll just close it. I don't want to get into this. I don't want to have to do this. I don't want to have to make you guys wait too much. Movies and books are sort of in there. Music doesn't seem to be too popular, at least for the people who responded. So shipping is always the big one, right? So, okay. I'm going to hide this, and now we can... I'm going to turn it over to uh, you, Roman. Okay. Well, hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Jane. Um, Jane, just a reminder, are we, are we rec uh, recording the, the webinar? Yes, we are recording it. Okay, good. I, I, I can check that off the list. Okay. So, <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. So, as Jane said, this is um, really an overview of what Amazon Prime is, and then all the items that being a member entitles you to. Uh, when I talk to a lot of people about Amazon Prime or discuss sort of what is Amazon Prime, the answer I get back is, oh, that's the, that's the free shipping thing. And, and it is the free shipping thing, and that's a, that's, a, that's a great perk of being an Amazon Prime member. But, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize what, what all the other benefits being a member uh, provides. So today's content, we really want to make sure you understand you know, what is Amazon Prime? What are all the different components of Amazon Prime? And then, you know, if you're not a Prime member, uh, how to sign up and how to, it does come with a free trial. And then how to, how to end your membership if, if you were unsatisfied with, with what you were receiving. And then we'll get into, you know, how to shop to make sure that you're receiving the free shipping. Uh, we'll get into Amazon Prime video, you know, how to watch it, how to build a watch list. Um, Amazon Prime Music, so again, how to search for songs, albums, how to uh, build a playlist. Uh, there's a lot of features in there as well, uh, stations designed on the kind of music you like to listen to, etc. Amazon also offers something called Prime Photos, which if you take a lot of uh, pictures on your phone, uh, you know, one thing that does is it takes up a lot of storage. So 
Amazon Prime Photos is a great way to to take those photos and, and put them in the Amazon Drive cloud, which which can free up space on your on your phone. Uh, and then and then you know the the last two on the bullets here is the Lenders Library and Kindle First, which are are really great ways if you're a book reader like myself, just great ways to get uh, book content for um, you know really a, a ton of content that you can read and, and enjoy. So as we go through this, I think James talked about the uh, how to ask questions, raise your hand. Please, uh, please stop and raise your hand and ask questions as we go along. I'll be jumping across. You can, you can see my phone on the, on the uh, right side of the screen. I'll also be going into the desktop application. So the one thing about Prime is you, know, you can access it from a lot of different devices. So I'll, we'll be showing a few of those today. All right, so so what is Amazon Prime? So, you know, basically it's a membership, just like a membership to Costco or Sam's Club. Um, it, it's, it entitles you to, it's um, again, the free shipping and, and a lot of the other items we've, we've touched on and we'll go into depth on as we, as we go through the deck. But again, how much does it cost? So it, 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 there's two ways to, to pay for Amazon Prime. You can, you can do a one-time uh, $99 a year membership or if you're sort of unsure if you'll be using all the uh, benefits of Amazon Prime and just want to trial it on a month-to-month -month basis or, or, or try it on a month-to-month -month basis, you can do that for $10.99 uh, per month as well. So before you even, if you're not an Amazon Prime member already, they do offer a 30-day trial. And, and so you can actually go in, you can test it, you can try it. Um, you can see the, you know, the shipping features. Does it, do you like it? Does it work for you? And any time within that 30 days, if you're you're unsatisfied, you can cancel that. You can cancel that trial. I, I will say that if you start the trial and and you do not cancel within the 30 days, it will automatically start into a paid membership. And then um, the the the, uh, the renew cycle happens. Um, Again, if it's if you're doing a yearly membership, it'll happen on the uh, once a year on the day you signed up, and if it's monthly, it, you'll get a recurring charge um, the day you signed up per month. So a couple different options there, um, but again, we, we you can see on the screen here some of the items you're, you 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 get with it: the shipping, the Prime Music, the books, the video, the storage. So it's a lot more than just the just the shipping component. So how to get started? So um, again, if you're not a Prime member, uh, I'll I'll jump into my desktop here and we'll show you. It's it's really easy to sign up for the free trial. But if you if you use your phone a lot, there's a lot of great apps that you can get from your app store um, that that are Amazon related that will give you access to all the content. So there's the Amazon app with the shopping cart. So that's a, a really easy way to shop for items on your phone. Amazon Photos is your photo storage. Amazon Music, you can listen to music on your phone through this through this application. And same as Amazon Video. So again, you can you can watch TV and movies from your phone uh, as well. So great items, different ways to use it. You can also access the, the music, the photos, the video, the shopping on your desktop or laptop as well. So I'm going to jump in real quick. Hopefully everyone can see my, my desktop. I'm now at Amazon.com. And so if you've never signed up for Amazon Prime but you're thinking about doing it, if you see on the right-hand side here, it says Try Prime. So all you need to do is click on the Try Prime button, and then it will bring you to the uh, Amazon Prime sign-up. And then you click on this button right here, Start Your 30-Day Free Trial, and then once you click into this, it will start asking you questions, and then you know it's a pretty easy process at this point to sign up. So again, it's just going to Amazon.com. The right-hand side, you'll see the Prime button, and then you, you can easily sign up at, at that point. So I'm going to sign into my account real quick because we will be going into some features that I have as well. Okay. So let's start with the shopping component. So, you know, let's, you know, one of the big items that I use with Amazon, I'm not a big mall shopper, I'm not a big retail shopper. I do most of my shopping via uh, my, my laptop or my phone. 
And with Amazon, it, it's a great way to sort items and see which items I are eligible for, for free shipping. And, you know, there's over a million items that have free same-day shipping, uh, which is great as well. So let's go into my phone here. I'm going to bring up the Amazon shopping button. I can click into here. And it says, what am I looking for? So what I want to shop for the day, I want to shop for, let's say, a shovel. Um, so I click on shovel, and now I can see all the different shovel options that, that I, you know, I could look at. It shows you the star ratings, so I can see what the reviews are, etc. So right away, you can see next to the, the first shovel, it's $20.99, $20 and it has the little check mark with Prime next to it. So right away, I know that this is eligible for Prime sh uh, free shipping. But as I sort through the different shovel options, if you look at that Eagle 155 that does not have that Prime button uh, next to it. So again, I would have to pay for shipping on this item. But there's a quick way to sort through this if you just want to see the items that are eligible for the, for the shipping. So on the top right, you can see this filter button. And if I click on this filter button, one of the first items you see is Amazon Prime. And if I click on Amazon Prime, there's two options I can choose from. Uh, the Prime button will be free shipping. And then the one below it says Prime free same day shipping. So maybe I'm working uh, outside, I have a big project I want to get done, I need a shovel right away. I can sort on the free same day shipping. I come back now, and now I can see this, you know, this first shovel here, it's eligible for free same day shipping. And if I go into this shovel, I can actually buy it. And I will receive this shovel today at my door, which is really just unbelievable. So I, I'm paying the $16.76, no shipping costs, and the shovel will be delivered today, Saturday, and I can start using it right away. Roman, well, uh, real quick, uh, any, I just wanted to sort of pause because I, I want to make sure people are alive out there, but does anybody, if you have a question, remember, raise your hand. So no one's raised their hand yet, so we must be doing awesome. Or we are doing awesome. Well, the, one thing I was gonna, the one thing I was going to say, <laughs> I loved your example. If you're out in the yard doing um, yard work and you need to shovel right away, you probably want to go to Home Depot. But you can, you'll can, you get it in about six hours, wouldn't you say? <laughs> exactly, yeah. I, pro probably running up the street to Home Depot would be the best option. But again, if uh, maybe it's an item you don't <laughs> you would like to have today, but you don't want to run out of the house. Yeah, or uh, maybe it's tomorrow morning or something but you exactly. do get it you get it the same day same day which is don't which is order, don't you have to order it by noon or something isn't there a time limit i, I there is there is a and, and you know it will sort out if if you're past that time period so oh. you, you so you i think it is noon jane is the is the time but that may vary right. i'm not i'm not sure if that varies by product though as well right so Another way to do it, so if you're not on your phone, is if you're just on Amazon.com. And again, it's 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 you know as easy as well. So instead of shovels, I want to look for um, shoes, and I'll look for men's shoes here. So again, it brings up all the all the different types of shoes I want. But you can see in the top left again, it right here. I could click on the free same day shipping. Uh, at this point, and that would limit my search to only the shoes I could get today. Um, but if you continue scrolling down, again, you can see the buttons Prime here and Prime Free Day Shipping. So if I click on these, it now refines my search, so then it only shows me the shoes that are eligible for the free shipping. So again, a few different options here, desktop and phone, but again, the left-hand side, you can quickly sort through and see which of your items you're shopping for are prime eligible, um, which means again, no, no shipping costs. Any questions from anyone on, on, on shipping and how it works and, and how to sort through to make sure that you are, you are eligible, your products you're searching for are eligible for the prime free shipping? Any hands raised, Jane? No hands are raised. It's, oh, let me, maybe I'll just ask a question. Who, um, who on the call who has a Prime membership has ever um, 
shopped and got something and, and check marked the sa same day delivery and received it on the same day. Oh, got one person, Chuck. So why don't you talk about that experience, Chuck, just so you can we can put another, you know, another person to it. We can hear you now, Chuck. Are you you might be muted or are you open? Hmm, I can't hear him. Interesting. Well we can't hear you, Chuck. Has anyone else done that? Oh, Nancy has. Let's see if we can get Nancy. Nancy, can you hear us? Can you talk? Hmm. Yes, I'm, I've done it, and for, I've done it, and for no particular reason other than I could do it. So. Uh. <laughs> and usually, it comes by like a curry. I mean, it's just a. It's almost to me like an Uber driver that comes to your house, right? I mean, it's not like a UPS truck. It's just a local courier. Right. That's 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 what I've had. So um, okay, well it is it is pretty nice. So okay, you can go back. I just thought it was interesting. I've done it before. I've gotten like dog dog food. <laughs> Thank goodness my dog didn't have to starve. All right. Okay. So, so again, that's you know for for my shopping, it they they make it very easy. Um, again, same day shipping. Usually two day shipping if you don't do the same day shipping. Um, and again, really easy to use and, and, and really, you know, they make it very convenient to find the items that you're looking for. So, so the next item we'll, we'll get into is Amazon Video. And so, you know, what Amazon Prime Video is, it's a streaming video service. If you've heard of, you know, Netflix and Hulu and, and other streaming video services, it's, it's very much like that. Uh, Jane had mentioned earlier, um, you know, there's a class through uh, Blue Hair Technology that talks about how to lower your your TV costs. If you haven't attended, uh, I highly recommend it. That that will show you sort of all the different ways you can watch uh, streaming video services, and and Amazon Prime Video is is one of those services. So, what is available? I mean, they have tens of thousands of TV shows, movies. Amazon Video is now doing uh, uh, very sim similar to what Netflix has done, and they, they're creating their own original content. So um, I know the TV show Transparent was up for uh, you know Emmys last year for the content, um, you know, for that for that TV show that they and that's again that's exclusive to Amazon Video. You can't find that anywhere else. They also have something called Prime Partners. So again, um, if you if you are looking to cut your 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 cable bill and you do are a Prime member, again you have access to a lot of these TV shows and movies. But if you like, for example, Showtime or Stars Movie Network, A and E, you can add these on as add-on features to your to your membership. So again, you don't have to have Showtime through, uh, you know, Xfinity or UVerse. Uh, you can actually add Showtime as part of your Amazon Video membership. There's a lot of different ways to watch the Amazon Video. So you know, there's a Fire TV and a Fire TV Stick um, that that you can use. Uh, Roku is another method that sort of helps you watch streaming uh, streaming video. You can watch it through game consoles like PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. Uh, a smart TV. So again, if your TV is internet uh, accessible, so you can use the internet on your TV, then you can watch Amazon uh, Video through your TV. If you have an iPad, a tablet, you can watch it there. Uh, the phone, which I'll, we'll, we'll go, I'm going to jump into my phone here and watch it, as well as just if you have a, a computer or a laptop, you can watch the, the the movies and videos from there as well. So let's get into how to how to watch a show and how do you find a movie and what are all the different components and buttons once you get in there. So I'm going to click on Amazon Video. And now you can kind of see this is the main page. And so the home page, what it's going to show you is it's going to show you like the featured shows up top. So that you know, Mr. Robot, All or Nothing. As you scroll down, you can ex you can see the original and exclusive TV. So this all or nothing is an exclusive uh, uh, show from Amazon Prime. The Americans on FX is that's an exclusive TV content for Amazon Prime. 
uh, video. Down below, you can see here's these add-on subscriptions I was talking about. So you can add stars, you can add Showtime. There's actually a lot of them. So you know, Acorn TV. Uh, yeah, there's all these different add-on subscriptions that if you if if you're interested, you can you can click on and, and add that subscription. One Rob, thing that Amazon. Rob, yeah, go ahead. Rob, we, got, we do have a question. I'm very excited when yeah. there's a question. Um, I'm going to unmute you, Gloria. Hopefully your mic and everything is working. You should now be able to speak, Gloria. Oh. Okay, it says attendee is self-muted. That means you have muted your mic on your computer, which has had a problem with a couple people. So I have unmuted you, but your computer, you don't have your mic set up or your mic is muted, Gloria. So I can't, so maybe you can type your question in. You, there should be a question section, guys. You should see where you can type in your question. Um, but you're self-muted. Um, so go ahead and type in your question, Gloria, and I'm going to um, see if she can do that for us. Okay. Keep going, Rum. Okay. Okay. So, so again, up top here, so if I wanted to look just at TV shows, I can click on the button. It now brings up TV shows. I can click on the movies button, and now I can sort just by movies as well. So let's go to TV shows. I'm going to pick, um, let's pick the Americans here as a TV show I want to watch. All right, so from this, I can see the different seasons. So with my Prime membership, I can watch all of season one all of season two, all of season three. Now season four does not have that prime symbol. So again, season four, not available through Amazon Prime yet. Um, but again, the first three seasons you could all watch, you could watch um, you know, at your leisure. So as I see here, there's a couple different options. So I see the pilot in this, these arrows that kind of point down. If I click on that, it gives me a little description of what the episode is about. It tells me how long the, uh, the, the, the TV show is going to be. So this is a little over an hour. The, the, the play button to the right, I could click on this and I could watch the TV show right there. But then there's this down arrow next to it. So what this, is gonna, what this would enable you to do is if you want to download the show and watch it when you're not online, so maybe you're, um, I'm going to be traveling in, in a couple weeks out west, and on the airplane, if I want to have some TV shows downloaded that I can watch without Wi-Fi connection, I could do that. So by clicking on that button, it's now loading, and it will begin to download. You can see the downloads now starting. And so when I, and if I click on downloads at the bottom of it, I can see which episodes, and it says it's, it's now downloading here. I already have one episode downloaded of another, another TV show. So again, I can always go in here and watch these, watch these shows whenever, whenever I have time. Let's go back to the Americans. Roman, okay. okay, she sent me the question. Uh, okay. It's a, if the question is, can I add channels like National Geographic? I don't think you can so, add channels. Amazon Prime is not a is is not that, right? You can add channels like Showtime and and um, Stars and A because all the ones I have up here now, the History Vault, Lifetime Movie Club, these can all be added as as add-on subscriptions. I don't know if that specific channel is 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 available though. I'd have to like learn and discover. Taste made X5 Poly. I, I can do a quick search. Yeah. So again, these are all, all the all the channels I'm I'm showing here can all be added, right? So, um, but uh, again, you'd have to look at a list to make sure Ring TV if you're a boxing fan. So, again, there are channels that can be added to your subscription. Uh, you just have to find out if which which uh, which channels are eligible and and are available for for that. So one other thing, if, if you're browsing movies and TV shows, one thing you can do is add to a watch list. 
and, and a watch list is something maybe you want to mark for later, right? You don't want to watch it right now, but you know you are interested in maybe watching that TV show or series in the future. There's a, a button, add the watch list, and I can click on this. And now at the bottom, you see there's a watch list button. And now if I go into my TV shows, you can see it just added it. And now here's all the, the TV shows that I have, I, I've, I've marked for, that I'm interested in watching in the future. So again, you know, maybe two weeks from now, I'm like, oh, what was that, what was that TV show that looked really good? I go into my watch list. I say, oh, it was the Americans. And now I can click in there and I get right back to where I was. So it's sort of like if you think about it like a bookmark uh, for the TV shows or movies. Um, again, maybe someone tells you about a movie you want to see, but you don't have time to watch it right there. You could add it to your watch list, and it, it'll be available for you when you go back into the go back into the app. Another way to do it. So I'm back into. I jump back into Amazon. So again, if you're not on your phone, maybe you're at your your, your computer. I am logged into my account. You can come down, and I'm going. I'm just. I'm hovering over your account here, and if I go down, you can see your Prime Video. And if I click on your Prime Video, now you can see all the shows that are available. It looks. It looks very similar to the um, to to the to the phone app, and then again from here, I could always go in. I could read what it's about. I can actually watch the channel from right here, continue watching. Oh, and actually it's pulling up. So again, you could watch it from your from your computer, from your phone, et cetera. And I will pause it because I don't think we're gonna watch this right now. So Jane, any questions from anyone on Amazon video? And I was gonna make this again, you must either be doing a really good job or something, but um, I was going to say on Am and the video in the, from the class that we did a couple weeks ago, and um, and Larry was a Larry who's on the call was a, a, a big part of, of also the, that presentation. Um, it was his presentation actually that we did about dropping your cable uh, or, or dropping cable and still watching TV and movies. So this is a this is a good example of if you were watching this on a tablet like an iPad and you had the Apple TV. Or if you had Roku or something like that, you could actually stream the movie that you're watching on your iPad to your uh, TV and actually watch it as a, on the big screen. It, you're not limited to the, uh, the tablet or the, uh, the, the computer maybe, but not definitely if you have, and you have the right devices, you could actually watch the movie via and on your TV. So how many of you have, just out of show of hands, how many of you have watched, oh, Gloria has another question. We'll see if we can get it to work. But how many of you have, well, let's get to your question first, Gloria. Again, I don't think it's going to work because you're self-muted. <laughs> so why don't you write, why don't you write your question and we'll, we'll answer it for you. And then anyone else, has anyone else ever streamed movies, watched any of the Amazon Prime movies? Chuck has, anyone else? No. Nancy has, oh, Betty has, hey, Betty. Um, so no one else has. Okay, but some folks have. That's good because there really is a lot. So let me see if I can get your question. If you ask the question. Oh, Gloria, did you have a question? Did you want to write the question in the question box? Because I don't see it right now. All I see was your old one. Okay. Oh, here it comes. Oh, she forgot. <laughs> she, wrote, <laughs> she wrote that she forgot her question. Okay. <laughs> All it's right. coming back. No. <laughs> it's not coming back. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so again, movies, TV shows, all available. Jane had mentioned earlier you'll get the um, you'll get the deck as part of this this webinar. So, the the deck sort of will outline some of the items that we you know I was showing as I was scrolling through my phone. So. Um, it, it's it's hopefully it's 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 self-explanatory and you can kind of I try to line it up step by step. So if again you know a, a week from now if you want to go back and check it out, you have the directions on how to how to search for shows, add them to a watch list, and and download them for future watching. 
Okay, Amazon Music. All right, so I know uh, from the poll earlier, a lot of people, um, this wasn't a big topic, but this is this is an item I use a lot, and I'm hopefully after we cover this, many of you will use this as well. So if, if you're familiar with, um, you know, so I guess what is it? Let's start there. It's, it's an ad-free streaming music service. You know, it has a lot of songs, you know, over a million songs available to listen to as part of your Prime membership. The one thing about Amazon Music, which is great, is, you know, you can listen to, you know, you can select certain artists you want to listen to, certain albums. They have playlists, and, and a playlist, if, if you're not familiar, is just a, a collection of songs. Um, so, you know, I know I, I have playlists for when I'm, you know, a, a Sunday morning breakfast playlist, where it's more easy, easy acoustic music I like to listen to. Uh, my wife has workout uh, playlist that she uses with a lot of upbeat running songs. Um, so again, you can create your playlist. They actually have playlists already built, which makes it much easier as well. And then they have stations, which we'll, we'll show here in a second. But think of it like a radio station, except it's 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 songs that are based off your your likes, um, which is really neat. So if I only want to hear songs. Um, that that are very that are very much similar to like Frank Sinatra, they will play songs like that based off that artist, which is really neat. So let me let me get into Amazon Music here. And so I am in here. So up top you see these three lines. I click on the three musics online and it gives you three options. So Prime Music your library and, and recent activity. So as we go through this, we'll, we'll kind of explain what those are, but we'll start, start here with Prime Music. So again, th these are the, the songs that you're eligible for as part of your membership. So the first button up top is recommended. So what Amazon, what Prime Music is doing, it's looking at all the songs I've listened to previously, songs I've searched for, and it's given me re recommendations based off what I've, what I've done uh, from, from my previous history. So you can come down here, you can see the songs, the things I would like, the stations I would think, uh, the things I would like. We talked about stations. So again, it's just like a radio station. And so again, if I want to listen to alternative music, I would hit this button right here, and it would start playing songs all around that genre, right? And it would, it's ad-free, there's no ads. So it's, you know, it's great for, you know, I, we listen to it all the time in the house, summertime barbecues, play it, it's, it's really tremendous. And again, it makes it easy. It's really based off the artist or type of music that you'd like to listen to. We talked about playlists. So again, so right now I'm looking at, these are already pre-built playlists that, I have, that you'll have access to. So if you are, you know, maybe you're doing a workout, I see up here I've sorted by workout. But there's all these different types of playlists that they've they've already created. So, um, you know, something relaxed and laid back. I could click on this, and now it gives me all Nord Jones classical for reading. And as I click on these, it's a collection of of songs that that will play during that playlist. And it, it goes if you look below it, it actually gives you uh, some of the artists you'll be hearing. So Nora Jones, Ray Charles, Van Morrison, Natalie Cool. So it gives you a little insight into the types of music you can you can play and listen to. So let's get in. Let's search for a song. So the, the, the magnifying glass up top, right? So I want to look for, um, let's say, and as I start to type, it'll bring up the different artists. So we'll bring up Frank Sinatra here. Again, it's there's a Frank Sinatra station again, which will play songs from Frank and from other artists very similar. But I'm going to click on Frank's name, and it brings me up the the top songs um, by Frank Sinatra. So it shows me the top ones. I can actually go to specific albums if I'd like. So let's go up to I just play a song here. The way you were the night. I'm gonna click on the song. You can see it down below. I'm gonna pause it here real quick. So, one thing I really like about Amazon Prime Music, and it, it's again, it's like Spotify if you've heard of that streaming music service. But one thing they have here is this X, X ray lyrics. And so, as I play the song, you can actually see the lyrics of that song. 
Now, I, I didn't know that. Pretty cool. Very cool. Because I like to sing. <laughs> yep. I like to sing too, Jane, and my, my, my kids always laugh because I always sing the wrong lyrics. So now, <laughs> now I actually can sing the correct lyrics as I'm, as I'm doing it. So a couple, couple items on the bottom here. So again, you can see this button to the right has a little, has a, like a bunch of lines and an arrow. So what this has done is it's given me 20 songs by Frank Sinatra. It's called a, it's, it's my cue. So it's all the upcoming songs. So if I would just let this play, the next song would be Come Fly With Me, Fly Me To The Moon, That's Life. And again, it's all part of my cue here. So I can edit it. So I can move songs around. If I want to move this song up, I can. And I'm done. Click done up top. So again, you can kind of sort the music you're playing. And so as you're playing a, a playlist and you want to hear, if you, if you look into that, let me save it. Oop. So again, as, you, as you're playing songs, you can move them around and listen to the songs in, in your order. This button to this like that looks like a little track to the far left. That would that's a, a repeat, so it'll play the same song over and over again. So maybe if a song stuck in your head, you can play it. This 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 line with the sort of the intersected lines, uh, that that will shuffle the songs. So all those songs that we saw in that play cue or on your playlist, it'll shuffle them up so they come in random order, which is which is really neat. So let's go back, and let's go back to where we to see Frank at the beginning here. So we're back sort of, I've, I've looked for uh, Frank Sinatra. I found him, and I don't want to play a song yet, but I want to add this to a playlist, okay? So there's a plus sign. That plus sign, the first thing that's going to do is add to my, my, my cloud library. So... I will get back to that in a second, so just we'll, we'll talk about what that means. But if I click on the three dots, so I have a, a lot of options here. I can play the song next. I can add it to a play queue, so that's a list of songs that are upcoming that I'm about to play. I can download the song. So just like on the Amazon movies or Amazon video, if I download the song, it makes it available for me offline. So again, if, if you're playing this and you're not connected to Wi-Fi, it will use your data. So um, one way to not use a lot of data on your phone is to download the songs or, or TV shows or music you're interested in so you, so you, you don't use up your, your data plan. So if I click download, the songs added to the download queue, and you can see the little button came up there showing it was downloading. And then I can add to a playlist. So let's click on this add to a playlist and so I'm going to create a new playlist and I'm gonna, you can you can call the playlist whatever you'd like so I'm going to call it Frank I could spell Frank songs and I save it so now I have a new playlist and if I want to add another song I can click add the playlist Touch the playlist I want to add it to, and now it's been added. So again, a great way to, to kind of, you know, to, to choose the music that you want to listen to and play over time. So going back to the, the, the main button, so I'm on the main page here again. And again, I hit these three buttons up top. It's going to, give me, it's going to show me this, the, my, my three options. So prime music we've gone into your library so again I can go in here if I want to see that playlist I want to play Frank's songs I can go right in there and click on Frank's songs and that will pull up you know the songs in that playlist if I go back uh, recent activity that's going to show me that I added the, the new playlist it's going to show me that I, 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 I added a, a Frank Sinatra song but you see the button up top here it says offline music mode so this is when, again, if you're if you're not connected to the internet, so um, you know you're out and about, um, and, and you're not you're not on the internet. If you click slide the button over, what that's going to do is 
it's going to give you all the songs that you can play offline. And again, playing a song offline means you're not using your phone's data. Um, and again, depending on what kind of data plan you're on, that could really use up a lot of data by streaming music or TVs when you're not hooked up to the internet. So just by sliding that button across, it'll show me which music I can listen to without using that data up. So it's already been downloaded, I can play it offline, um, and there you go. I was gonna, I mean, as I'm uh, thinking through this, I know this is a lot of um, content. Yeah. Well, no, there is. It's a lot of content, and you could probably—I'm <laughs> sure you're. I'm looking at my app right now, as far as my Amazon Music app, because I haven't ever really messed around with it, and it's, I'm actually learning things myself, so it's pretty cool. But there is a lot on this, and we realize that you know you're not able to really use your device, and it's hard to see uh, what he's tapping on. And we're working on all these things. We're going to figure out how to have like a spotlight or something so you can tell what we're tapping on and things like that. So don't be overwhelmed. There's a lot, a lot to it. At the high level, again, as we're going through this, remember that it's so much more than shipping. And um, you're also going to receive this PDF that you can go through. Uh, but, but even just enjoying Amazon Prime for just being able to purchase things and get them in a day or two is just awesome. Uh, so don't get overwhelmed with everything we're talking about. It's a lot, uh, but that also shows you that there is a lot uh, that, that they're offering you that's available. So, And I wanted to get back. I think, Gloria, you can now speak because you... you uh, are okay. you able to speak now? Can you hear me? Yes. Thank yeah. you, oh, Chuck. Okay. Chuck okay, I went to answer as to why we couldn't hear you. So, good. Well, yes, just for questions? others... For others, I went to settings and found the little place to unmute. Right. But I think I everyone, else, everyone else on the call is okay. It was just you that were that you didn't have your that on. So good. Okay. Well, my TV is a 47-inch video uh, Vizio, and it's eight eight or more years old. So, how much of this new technology can I do on the TV, or can I do any of it? And I think. Uh, and, and any, if anyone else wants to answer, I know Larry, Chuck, you guys know about this stuff as well, but I think her question really is around streaming. And with an eight-year-old TV, um, the Roku players and the Apple TVs or the Chrome sticks, I mean, you have to have at least an HDMI input. Is that right, guys? Who can answer? Let's see. Chuck can, maybe. Chuck. Eight-year-old TV? Yeah, go ahead. Eight-year-old TV, what can she do so she can stream can she stream? Um, she can stream if she has an HDI, HDMI input, yes. Um, smart TVs probably weren't out back about eight years ago. Um, so to have that content on there, you can either use the Roku, you can use the uh, Fire Stick, only if it has the inputs available, especially Roku. Roku should be able to hook up to just about any TV, whether it's HDMI or whether you have VGA input. VGA and audio. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Any other questions while we're... Chuck has an unanswered... Chuck, Chuck, do you have an unanswered question? I have a question mark up here. Maybe you type something in. Do you have a question? Chuck? No, I don't have a question. Okay. 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 So, so I, I know there's a lot of... This Amazon Music app has a lot of different buttons. So again, DJ, don't get overwhelmed. At a high level, just the, the magnifying glass will allow you to search for music, right? So that's a big one to know, right? If you want to look for Hamilton's, it's been a big one. You can search for that. And then if you just scroll up top here and just do that, I think you'd be in good shape. You can look for, again, stations, playlists, new to songs that are new to Prime, etc. So, again, um, try it out. Go in there. And again, just, just let magnifying glass, that by itself will help you find the music you're, you are looking for. Okay. Let's talk about Amazon, Amazon Prime Photo. All right. So as part of your Prime membership, you get free unlimited access uh, to the uh, Amazon Drive, Drive storage which means you can store all of your photos there. Um, there is no limit to that space. Again, if you take a lot of pictures with your phone, 
uh, th those do take up a lot of space on your phone. So one good thing about having the Amazon Prime Photo is that you know you can you can put those photos on your on your Amazon uh, Photo Drive to free up space. Uh, it also gives you five uh, gigabytes of storage for videos and documents. So again, if there are some videos you want to put on there, uh, that does have a cap on it. So once you reach that limit, they will they will let you know. So you know what are the benefits of this? You know, for me again, I it, it's it's a great place to see all my photos. Um, you know, I can sort them by albums, which we'll get into the app here, and you can see. I do use this to free up my storage. Um, it's really easy to sort and find the pictures I want. I do want to point out, though, you know, as you put your photos on here, that you know what happens if you would ever cancel your your Amazon Prime membership, right? So you, you have a couple different options if that would happen, because you don't want to lose your photos, right? So you have two options. You know, one is you can sign up for the Amazon Drive, right, which gives you access to this cloud storage. And that is that's twelve dollars a year. So if you don't want to pay the ninety nine dollars a year or the ten ninety nine a month, but you still want to put all your photos in in the Amazon cloud, you can do that. And and it's twelve dollars a year um, for your for the photo storage. The other thing is, and we'll show you, you can actually send your photos, uh, you know, via email, via text message. And so if you ever were going to to cancel the membership. Um, if you weren't going to use the, the Amazon Drive, you could send those to an email and then you could put them on your desktop or a hard drive and you would have them so you wouldn't, you wouldn't lose those. So let's go in to Amazon, Amazon Photo. Hey, quick, uh, we got a question here, oh, yeah. uh, Roman, from Nancy. I'm gonna, Nancy, I'm going to unmute you so you can ask the question. I'm not sure I understand it. So. Okay, you're unmuted, Nancy. Okay, after after they get on the um, a Google um, photo, um, I assume you go ahead and delete them from your phone. But right now I'm having iCloud storage, so is it okay to delete them from my iCloud storage as well? You yeah, you can. Um, so I would just make sure you have the Amazon Prime Photo app first, yes. and then. Make and make sure you see the photo, all the, all the photos that you want would be on this. Make sure they're there first. And then, yeah, you could always go up, like, oh, if I go into my photos, right, I don't even have anything on it because I, I take them all off because it just takes up so much, so gotcha. much space. Okay, that's, that's a huge savings um, on space to be able to do that. That's great. It is. Yeah. And that is good. I think I'm going to look at that too because that's where, for those of you who struggle with the, um, I don't know how many of you have iPhones out there. I know it's different on the uh, Androids, but if you have iPhones and your storage is just clogged, a lot of times it's because of photos. And if you can get the photos off your phone and you know that they're being saved somewhere, um, that that's a good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so, automatically too, right? And once you set it up, isn't it automatic? Every picture you take is automatically backed up? It is, it is. So, uh, again, the, these three bars up top left, when I click on it, on the bottom left, you'll, say, you'll see auto save is on. And so you go into settings, and you can see the, the auto save. And I click on that. I have now enabled it to auto save. And I want to auto save my photos and my videos. And I've chosen Wi Fi only. I don't want, I don't want, Amazon Photo to try to download the pictures when I'm on cellular. Again, that could use up my data on my phone plan. So only when I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, to any Wi-Fi, will the photos automatically be um, be added. So, and it, it's really quick. So I'll 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 do this. Let's do a. Um, so I'll do a selfie here. Hi everyone. <laughs> That's that picture. But. When I go back here, um, this photo is probably already, and you can see, there I am, there I am. So I don't like that picture, so I'm going to delete it real quick. But again, that's how quick, that's how quick it is. It, I mean, it, it does it instantaneously. So as you take pictures, if you're on a Wi-Fi, it will automatically take those and add them to your Amazon Photos, which again is, it's great. You can remove them from your phone, and it, and it, does, it does free up a ton of space. 
So that's really well. Hold on, uh, we got we do have a question, but that's really great. Again, I didn't I I wasn't aware of this. So Betty, you have a question. You raised your hand. You are unmuted. Is there a reason we have to take them off of iCloud if we go on to Amazon Prime storage? You, you don't need to take them off of iCloud. Uh, you can leave them on there. It, it, it's just a matter of space. So, um, you know, if you if you put them in your iCloud, that's fine. I, you can keep them on there. Again, I take I take most of my pictures off just again because I have limited space on my phone to do it. But you can you can have them on both. There's no need to take them off if if you don't like. And then you don't have to even use if you're if you're happy with iCloud and it's working. You don't have to use this. It's just another another way to. Um, you know, offload. Um, it looks stuff like a good way to. It looks like an organized storage. That uh, I'm not too good at on on my uh, iPad or iMac, but um, Amazon looks like good organized setup. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, I mean, I think iCloud is too, though. I, it's just getting used to something. This might be easier. I mean, visually, it definitely looks easier to me than iCloud. So, sure. I haven't studied that either, so <laughs> I'm just I'm more disorganized. So let's. That's all I need. Thanks. Yeah, great. Th great question. Thanks, and and keep them coming as we as we go through. So speaking of the organization, one you know one thing that's really I think pretty easy to do on here is to create photo albums, right? So last weekend I took my kids to the College Football Hall of Fame downtown, and so here's one picture of it, and I pull the picture up, and if I want to add this to a, a photo album, that button in the middle, the little plus sign, I can add to an album. So I have, right now we're doing a kitchen renovation. I have a kitchen renovation album. The plus sign up top, create a new album, and I'm going to call this College Football Hall of Fame. I create it, and now it's now added that photo to my to my album. So again, if I want to come up here, I can add all these photos. Add. I'm going to add it to the. So all I've done there is I went. I, I picked a new picture. I click the plus sign. I'm going to add it to the College Football Hall of Fame album. And now that picture is now part of it. It's now added. And I can keep doing that. So if I ever want to go and show someone, hey, let me show you the time we went down to the College Football Hall of Fame, all the pictures are there and it's very easy to see them. And if I click on again that button up top left, there's a button that says albums. So again, I can go into the album section. And again, you can sort through these. You can have as many albums as you like, and it's it's a great way. If you know, I'm someone that likes to have a lot of uh, organization. So for me, I like to have photo albums set up and and add them. So let's go back to just the regular pictures. So there's a few different things you can do once you pull a picture up. So you can see the bottom down here. Um, you know, one thing I can do. Let's start from right to left. So there's the trash can. You know, let's say I, I had a couple duplicate pictures. I didn't want the same picture. I could I could hit the garbage can and it would delete that picture. The um, the eyeball that's covered. So you have the ability to hide pictures. I, I'm not. So I guess if you don't want people to see these, I guess you can hide them. I'm not super familiar with this option or what. So I, you know why it's essential, but. If there are pictures, because, you don't that's want. That's because you're. That's because you're a good husband. You know, you're not out there taking pictures of women. <laughs> I guess so. I, I, I was going to say, I'm going to Vegas in two weeks, so maybe I'll hide those pictures. I don't know, but you, I can't. You can if you want. You can hide them, I guess. So, um, we can add them to the photo library. One thing nice is too is I can send them that little uh, square with the arrow. I can now send it to different different you know if I want to text this picture to my my parents if I want to send it via email you know I could post it to Twitter put it other different places it's really easy I just have to hit that button at the bottom and it pulls it up and it's you know if you if you use the iPhone or your 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 phone's video um, photos a lot of times it's very similar and then there's the cloud at the the far left and it says downloading your photo library so again, if we if I've removed this picture from my phone, but I want it back on there, 
I can click that button and that phone now it's it's already downloaded so I can have it back on my phone if I wanted it on there. So question for you. Do you yes. have if I send a, if I if I save all my stuff in these uh, in um, Amazon Photos and I send a photo that's stored in Amazon Photo to someone, are they gonna be able to access it or do they have to now have the Amazon Photos app on their phone to view it or something something like that? No, you. Um, I will. I will send it to myself. And you do not have to have access to Amazon Photo to uh, to see the picture. So it'll it'll come through just like a. And oh, okay. so here's my okay. here's my text message. I come in, and okay. there's the picture of my my daughter kicking a field goal. So there you go. Good. And if you send it as, I'm assuming if you send it as an email, you know, there's some apps that, you know, if you send it to somebody, like in Facebook, if you send something to a, a, with a Facebook something link and the person doesn't have Facebook, they can't see the stuff. So that's good to know that it's just like a regular picture. That's good. Okay. Yes. Just like a regular picture. Yeah, they'll be able to see it. You know, et cetera. So that yeah, that is a nice feature. So, any questions on Amazon Prime Photo? Okay, nope. great. No nope. are up. <laughs> All right, let's. The, 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 the last item I have, we'll talk about, last two items are uh, the Amazon Lenders Library and the Kindle First. Um, again, if you're a book reader like myself, I, you know, I use these features a lot. Um, so the lenders library, it, it's really kind of like a like a library you would go to, like the Cobb library. Um, you have access to uh, a, a lot of different books. You can borrow them. Um, and then unlike a library, though, there is no return date, right? So you can you can rent, uh, I think it's every 30 days, you can borrow a new book. Um, you don't have to return it within 30 days. So there is no cost or, you know, they're not going to charge you a nickel a day for every, you know, past 30 like a, like a normal library would. Um, you just can't rent another book until you return the book you've already, um, you've already lent, um, you've already borrowed. So you have to return a book to get a new book. Um, that's really the only restriction. And other than that, you can go in there and you can really sort for the book and borrow it. And again, it's part of your prime membership. There's no additional cost, et cetera. The next one is Kindle First. So each month, and if you are a Prime member, you may receive these emails already. And they, you know, I, I'm a member. If you are a member, I, I encourage you to sign up at least for their 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 newsletter. Um, they are, they come out like once a month. They don't inundate you with a ton of emails like some companies do, but they will give you insights to all the different features and new items available for Prime members. And one of those is this Kindle First. And what that is, it's the editors select six new books that, you know, they're not even out yet. They're not even really um, available to the main public yet. But as a Prime member, you're able to order those books for free. Uh, you get one, you get to pick one out of six. And they, they give six new selections each month and you get the you get to get the book for free and read it, which is again, it's a free book. Can't can't beat that. Um, now, the one thing is, it, you, you the best way to sort of access the the lenders library in the Kindle first is if you have a a Kindle uh, or a Kindle Fire. Um, I'm going to show you the Kindle first via my desktop, but you can see on um, I have a Kindle phone app or a Kindle app reading app on my phone. It just you, it, it's you're not able to actually purchase the books from the phone app, so it, it really is best to go into your Kindle, and I'm going to go in right now to my desktop, and we'll look at the Kindle the Kindle first and, and how to do that. So I'm at, I'm at top left. You can see departments here. I, I go down to books. And then I see Kindle Books. So I'm going to select Kindle Books. And now it's brought me to the Kindle Book page. And on the left-hand side here, you see Kindle First. Okay, so if you click on this, again, so it now pops up. 
Uh, it kind of gives you a description. So again, these are the editor's picks for this month. These are July's picks, and it, this happens every month. Um, we get one feature book for free, right? Um, and you get to read it before it's even officially released. So if I go down here, I kind of scroll, here's this month's six options. And it tells you sort of, you know, this one's contemporary fiction, this one's crime fiction. You can already see there's been a lot of people who've already read these and reviewed them, right? So you can see if, you know, what are people saying about the book before you purchase it. So, you know, again, I can come in here. I haven't picked my book out for the month yet, but this everything we keep, a novel, has got a good review. So if I click into it here, again, because I'm a Prime member, on the right-hand side it says, now buy it now for free. And if I click on this button, um, I, I will get that book. And now it's, it's mine, you'll have it. There's no return period for the Kindle first. Uh, it'll always be part of your Kindle uh, book library. And again, they come out every single month six books, different types of books. There's no additional cost. And, and again, if you're a book reader, it's a great way to get a free book each month. Any questions about Kindle first? Does anyone, Jay, can we ask, does anyone get the emails or has anyone used the Kindle first um, already? Um, yeah, you can ask. I mean, if you've used, I never used it actually, so this is the first time I'm seeing this. This is really cool. Um, has anyone ever used Kindle First before? Raise your hand. Nancy has. Let's see. So Nancy, why don't you, uh, I'm going to unmute you, and we will let you, and you're also self-muted, so unself-mute, Nancy, and then tell us about it. Okay. Usually every month there's a book that's of interest, and so I will download it. The problem is I have about um, 800 books on my Kindle, so I, I'm not so sure I'll ever get to it, but at least I have to make it available. So, Does anybody have, if anybody, is any, who's a big reader and finds this valuable? Is anyone out there a big reader and would love to be able to get these books for free? Raise your hand. Nope. No big readers. So... It uh, looks like, wait, somebody has a question. Let me see if I can, oh no, she doesn't have a question. So, well, I, I, you know, I'm not a big reader, but I think it's pretty, um, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty nice. For people who are big readers, that's a really nice value. What was the thing you were showing before, though? So this is Kindle, what was this called, Kindle? This is called Kindle First. First. Yeah, Kindle First. And the other thing, which we'll, 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 I'll jump back into the PowerPoint, is the Lenders Library, which is. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Now, now the lender's library. So you can't, I can't lend the book from my desktop. The really, you, you, you. Um, the best way to show it, and, and unfortunately, I can't show you my Kindle screen on my computer today. But um, let's go into the PowerPoint. I, I can show you the steps. It's pretty easy if you have a Kindle to 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 borrow the book. So um, now you can have a Kindle, an actual Kindle, or like. I have I have the Kindle app on my um, iPad. That's the same, right? Would it be the same, or you have to have a Kindle to do this? I'm Jane. I'm pretty sure you have to have a Kindle because um, okay. I have the re so I have the reading app right here as well on my phone. Yeah. And I'm I'm unable to to, to lend from the app. So oh, okay. so I have to I have to I have to do it from the the actual the actual Kindle. And you can't do it, you're saying you can't do it from the Amazon site either. You have to do it from a Kindle. For the for the lender's library, that is correct. For the okay. Kindle first, from the Kindle first, the one that, yeah. that's that free book, you can do yeah. that from the desktop. Yeah. Is anyone who has a Kindle out there? Raise your raise your hand. Nancy Nancy, you have everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, Gloria has one too. Oh, Judy has one too, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, so we got a couple people with Kindles. Okay, good. Good. So, so if you do have a Kindle, right, you can, you can like I'm showing on my screen here, you, you know, you can kind of sort through the different genres of books, right, you know, mysteries and thrillers, romance, science fiction. But if you keep going down, you'll see, you can see the Kindle first there, so you could, like, that's another way to, to get your Kindle first selection. But then you see K Kindle uh, owner's li lender's library, right? So when you click into that, it's going to pull up, and if you look at the left side of the screen here, 
all the books that are available to to borrow, right? And they have them by again by genre, um, you know what's featured, what's popular. So again, it makes it easy to kind of sort for the kind of book that you'd like to like you'd like to borrow and read that that month. Once you click on a book, so you know I, I've clicked on you know we're all damaged. This book right here, and let me make this a little bigger. Here we go. So it says, you know, again, you can see it has a button. So it says buy for $4.99 or borrow for free. Make sure, at, you know, you don't want to buy it because you've, you're have you already going to get it for free as part of a, being a Prime member. Um, I, you could buy it if you want to have it forever. So I guess you could do that. But if you just want to borrow it like a library book, make sure you, you click on the borrow for free button. And once you do that, you'll see, you know, it starts to show you your download and then that book's available to you. Again, you know, um, you get to borrow a book once every 30 days. Um, again, there's no there's no time limit to when you have to return it. Just keep in mind if you want to rent a new book, you have to you have to return the one you already have. And I'll I'll show you how to do that here in a second. So oh, we have a question. Yep. Um, Gloria, I'm gonna let I'm gonna put you on. Where did Gloria go? Here she goes. You're self-muted again, Gloria. Can you talk? I'm unmuted. Okay, now you got it. Okay, good. Go ahead. Ask your question. Well, well my, my Kindle is so old, it was the original one with the keyboard. So I'm just wondering um, if it does any of this stuff. Um, I don't know if it's Wi-Fi capable. The earlier one... Oh, it's, yes, it's Wi-Fi capable. I, I used to get the news on. I mean, it, it is connected to Wi-Fi. Gloria, that's a great question. I I, I have to I'd have to check. I'm, I'm well, it's not... not that important. Don't worry. <laughs> not that important. This awesome thing isn't that important. <laughs> you know the model? What's the model? Do you know your? Um, you know, you said it's the first one, the first generation Kindle. I imagine it is because I've had it for years. I don't well, know where the it's when we're, when we're off the call. If you want to send um, me or uh, we'll give our email addresses out. If you want to send us, we'll have to know the model or somewhere on that. You'd have to tell us the model, and then we can look it up. I'm, so send, I'm me looking, an email, send me an email with the model of the uh, of the uh, Kindle, and we'll look into it. I don't know how to find that. I'm looking under um, the menu. It doesn't say anything. Of course, the home button just takes you. To the book titles, isn't the um, go ahead? Someone you know where you can find the model? If Gloria, if you go to menu on your on your Kindle on your Kindle, all right. Do you and see then, an option? Oh, so how about settings? Um, it, it should be. It says select all categories or the menu, and then select Kindle owners lenders library. So, um, well, I think. Let's I go think ahead this and is not do it at the end. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Isn't, I Let's think this is on. just. I think this is too old. Unless it says device information, there's stuff down there: serial number, network capability. Well, Gloria, let, let us do this at the end, okay? Because uh, sure. let us just keep moving on this, and we'll 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 at the end. We always have another question from Betty, so let me bring you up. Hold on a second, Betty. Go ahead, Betty. She could also go to Barnes and Noble and find out, couldn't she? Yes. You okay, I'm an avid reader, um, and I do a lot of on Kindle on my iPad Mini. And the other person mentioned having 800 books on her library list. Does that take up a lot of space? The titles, I guess, the books are not stored on the Mini, but the connection is. Uh, is there a way to store those titles and refer back to them? I'm just asking for a fact of overloading. Yeah, I think I think Roman is bringing up something. Are you doing something? I I I, I, I think I think I think most of my books are in the Amazon cloud. They're they're in the cloud, so I don't I, I don't think it takes up a lot of storage. But I'm not sure about specifically about the iPad Mini if if on on that device. It's just not a device I have, so I'm not I'm not familiar. I guess I could go to the Apple store. Like she can go to Barnes and Noble and get those questions answered too. 
Well, let's. Um, it's it's not it's the Apple Store, but it's the Kindle app. So the Apple Store doesn't have anything to do with the. That's Kindle. true. That's yeah. true. Okay. So, we, right. can, let's, let's wait to the end. we can we can try to find out some of these questions. So I just want to make sure Roman can get through the rest of the presentation. We got it. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so let's return a book. So let's say we, we you you did you were able to get a lender's library book and and you finished reading it and and you want to return it so you can get a a new book. So you can do this from your Kindle and then the PowerPoint. There are directions on how to how to do that. You can also do it again from the Amazon desktop site. So again, I'm I'm scrolling over my account, and if I scroll down, you'll see um, it says manage your content and devices. So if I click on that, oh, it's asking me to sign in again. So I now I clicked into here, and now I can see all the books that I have on my device. And we can see this book, We're All Damaged, and it has a little prime prime thing next to it. So I know that's the book I, I've, I've borrowed. And then if I click on these this little box here, it says that it gives me the option to return this book. And, you know, since I'm, I'm done reading it, I'm going to click return this book. Um, and it comes up with a note, when you return a book, it will be moved from your Kindle. Um, you know, if you wish to borrow it again or purchase it in the future, are you sure you want to return this book? I'm going to say yes. And it's been successfully returned. Okay, so again, it's it's really just going up to the your account, manage your content, and when you go in, it'll bring up this page. And again, if there's a book with a prime symbol next to it, uh, that's the book that you've borrowed. And again, just click the button here, and it would have the it would have the return book. So now I can go into my Kindle tonight, and I can look for the next book that I want to borrow and read. So now I've I've returned a book. Um, if you do, I will know. If you try to, um, let's say you read a book in a week that you've borrowed, and you want to try to read another one. Um, again, you can only get borrow one every 30 days. So there will be a message that pops up, and it will say you've reached your lender's library limit. Um, so you don't have to keep track of yourself. Um, the, the the system will tell you if you've hit your your hit your hit your limit for the for the thirty day period. Okay. And that brings us to the end of the deck. So so again, we've we've covered a lot here. I know there was a lot of information. Um, Again, you'll get the you'll get the the slides that we that we reviewed today, and and a lot of the steps that we covered are outlined in there. So again, you can you can peruse at your leisure. But hopefully, after today's session, you've you've really understood. You know, there is more to Amazon Prime than than just sort of the free shipping thing. Um, if you haven't signed up, again, you can go in. You can sign up for the the free trial. Trial it for 30 days. See if you like it or not. Um, we've covered the shopping aspect, so how to sort and make sure that the, the items you're looking for are eligible for that free shipping. You know, how to watch TVs, how to add these shows to a watch list, um, how to download those um, movies and TV sh shows for um, to watch them when you're not online. Uh, we went into the Amazon Music app, which again, it's, it gives you access to a ton of, a ton of music, albums, you can you know you can build a playlist, listen to stations based off your music preferences. Um, we we talked about the photo album, uh, right? How to build an album, how to sort your photos, how to send those photos via text message or email to to other people, and then at the end here we talked about the Kindle first in the in the lenders library. So really there is a lot that the Amazon Prime membership enables you to uh, access to. So hopefully. Hopefully this was uh, enlightening and, and, and you're aware now of, of more features that you were before the webinar started. Are there any, I do have three questions that I'd like to ask at the end, so I'd love you guys to hold on, but are there any, are there any uh, questions about um, anything that you'd like to have be on mute and ask a question? Raise your little hand. No? So I'm going to just launch this thing. It's just a quick poll. Let's see what people thought about the presentation today. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out there. If you could select, that would be perfect, and we'll see where we are. Eighty-nine percent. So we have people that haven't voted. That's okay. So we actually have one person who said no. Hmm. So I'm going to share it with you. So one person, I don't know who that was, but if you want to send us an email later, we'd love to know uh, why it didn't work. It might have not worked because it was all online, which is challenging. But anyway, we got a lot of people who said yes, and someone got somewhat. I mean, we feel hopefully you learned at least one thing to help you evaluate whether or not um, whether or not it was uh, the right thing, whether or not you want to try Amazon Prime. I'm going to ask another question here, and it's okay. We don't know who's saying what. How about this one? Did, this is a more of a question for: Did you like the webinar? I mean, like the se situation of being able to join a webinar, being able to be at your house. And, um, and learn something. So here's the next question. Would you attend another webinar that we, we delivered uh, through this type of method? 100%. Yes, that's good. Although we have, let's, I think one person didn't respond, but that's okay. So let me go ahead and share that. So we got a good one on that. And the last question is this. Um, would you recommend it? Would you recommend this or being able to learn how to use things to a friend? I mean, being able to use this method to learn and uh, you know absorb new information that's out there for you. And not everybody answers again, probably because they feel like it's going to. I don't know who's voting. So, but for all of you that did answer. We got a nice 100%. Uh, got a pretty good amount of people there. So, um, what else? Was so, I think there was a couple people who had questions. Who you guys can stay on at the end if you'd like, and we'll see if we can answer any of those questions. Um, if 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 you if you want to send a private message to anybody, if you want to send a message to either me or. Um, Roman, um, I'm going to see if I can, I don't, uh, let me see if I can do something here. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I can chat. I was going to give you guys our email addresses, so let me, you should be able to see this if you go to your chat box. Uh, my email address is jratliff at bluehairtech.org. And what's yours, uh, Roman? Go ahead. Uh, Roman, R-O-M-A-N dot Trebon, T R E B as in boy, O N as in Nancy, at gmail.com. At gmail.com. I hope those were sending. Did those send? I hope they sent. If you look at your chat box, you'll see it. So, oh, Betty has a question. Oh, Betty has a question. So, what, we, what we're going to do now, thank you so much for joining this. Uh, we're going to open the floor to questions more now. So, uh, you can absolutely log off at this point or you can um, stay on. Up to you. So, Betty, you are now unmuted. Hi, uh, this is a good follow-up to your streaming uh, seminar that I attended a month or so ago. It answered a lot of questions that came out of that session. I have something that I think will be of interest to you. I've been listening to this on my phone because my new hearing aids are Bluetooth to my phone. So when I talk on the phone or when I get a phone call, it goes directly to my ears. New technology that's really interesting. What's the, um, that's supposed to be great. That's really great that you did that. What's the um, brand of the um, hearing aids? Resound, R-E-S-O-U-N-D, Lynx. And there are others, I think, that have it as well. But you're really happy with the, uh, I mean, that's great. I'm I've happy heard about that. I'm, her, I'm happy until the phone rings and I don't remember where I left my phone and it only rings in my ears so there's no direction to the sound and I uh -huh. run around the house looking for the phone but other than that I think I'm going to be fine with it. 
That's great. Well, that's really great to yeah. hear. Yeah. I've um, just had them a couple a couple weeks. Great. Were there other questions um, that you'd like us to answer right now um, on the call? And if you want to raise your hand, you can. Anything else? I'm going to email out um, to everyone who signed up for the webinar. Everyone's going to get a copy of the presentation, a PDF. So that's an electronic version. You can print it out if you'd like or just keep it on your um, computer. And um, if there's nothing else, I think we're going to wrap this up. I can unmute, unmute, unmute everybody if you guys want to say goodbye to everybody. But everyone's unmuted right now. Entreport does not have a visual Oh, representation. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Their other comics actually do have a visual representation, right?